Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Elsie. I'm the owner of the Vision Production and also I'm an author. On this channel, I talk about cultures, traditions, lifestyle. I talk about the cultures from Zimbabwe as a native of Zimbabwe and also as a person who have lived in the diaspora in America. I talk about America and also I talk about some places that I have gone to their cultures and their tradition that I have experienced. So uh, if you haven't watched my video, please check the links below and you see what I offer there in terms of uh, culture, if you are interested in the things like culture. On this series today, I am going to share with you something very, very special. This last March, I took an opportunity with my friend we visited Zimbabwe together. She hasn't visited Africa or Zimbabwe, and it was her first time. Prior to that, she had so many questions. She wanted to know so many things, and I have a video, mind-boggling questions, that I can link below so you can watch it. And then I promised I was going to have a series of videos to follow our journey to Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe, and coming back from Zimbabwe. And I did just that. And I did the videos, and you can also see them. As time is going, I'll be uploading different videos of that nature. So if you are interested to know how this journey went, just follow with the videos, just come back and watch, and come back and watch again. Because it's going to be interesting it's going to be fun it's going to be everything in between honestly i am serious it's going to be so much fun uh just if you are one who is also thinking sitting somewhere thinking i wish i could i wish i could my friend was one of that or well, was one of those who wished they could and one day they decided they will and they gave them the self permission to do it and they did so we took that trip and we came back and you're going to see lots of videos today though i have something very very special while i was in zimbabwe i had the opportunity to be interviewed uh centering on my writing with my book and also centering on my youtube channel this channel culture and fusion they interviewed me it was one of the best of zimbabwe 3k tv it's the best of Zimbabwe. And they interview me on the TV show. And I would like to share with you that clip of the interview um, so that you can just see. And I also wanted to add it to you. If you haven't yet checked my, 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 my work, my writing, you can go to the Vision Production. That's my site. Also, also, you can go to Amazon and you can actually grab your own reasons for leaving my memoir. Reasons for leaving. If you just go to Amazon, click on, uh, I put my name on books, they will lead you to reasons for leaving. And there, you're not just going to find one book, you're going to find more, more work that I have done. And you can also help yourself with that. Uh, with anything that you want there. So today I want you to just watch this clip. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. In our profile today, we're joined by Elise Kunangura McKnight, who is an author and has traveled all the way from the United States of America. Elise, it's a pleasure. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we can start off by, you know, letting everyone know what motivated you to become an author. Um, what motivated me to become an author started a long time when I was in high school. But I kept the desire to do so. But I could not do it for a very, very long time because in between I became a missionary. I did a number of things during missionary work. And then I started my life. But then, after that, many years later, then I started with an, a poem. It was actually out of disappointment because if someone could not calculate my grocery store, my grocery um, stuff. 
and I felt like I needed to write this poem about the original computer and I started from there and my husband is uh, grandfather encouraged me to carry it on and write so I started there okay so this passion was it it, it, it com comes from a very young age and you were lucky enough to have people around you who ignited it and pushed you to keep going forward yes oh that's yes, a, yes. that's really good and <laughs> and you were very lucky and you know look at you now <laughs> maybe you can yeah. tell us as well at least some of the projects that you've done so far um, I have written, in my writing, I have done six books. This is my sixth book. So I've done poetry, I've done quotation, I've done inspirational, just uh, reflections on inspirational. And then I wrote a short story about my being stranded during the COVID in Zimbabwe. And then I wrote my memoir. That's my sixth book. Oh, okay. all right. So the way I'm taking it, um, you know, if something happens, you instantly also get inspired and then the creative juices start flowing and there comes a book. Yes, um, it's, it's not just a book. I think it comes with the, like a thought and right. that thought is like, how shall I express the thought? And then when you come to that point, then you figure how to write and how to give it out and how to share. And I think that's one of my deepest desires, like how can I share what I have with others, you know, tell them the story, yeah. And, and I, I, can, I can tell just from speaking to you that, you know, your books are also very inspirational, you yes. know, motivates other people as well and keeps them going really. Yes. So maybe Elise, what are your, some of your latest projects and what is it all about? Well, so far, I do a number of things. So far, I'm doing um, cultural, um, cultural traditions, lifestyle uh, of Zimbabwe, or we can say African versus the European. So I started a YouTube that I talk about the differences, the culture shock, because when I moved to America, I faced a lot of that. So I just share with others to understand and also I have the desire to, for people to really know about Zimbabwe and the culture and the beauty and the lifestyle and all those things. So I have a desire, strong desire to do so. No, I, I, <laughs> I get well done for, for the YouTube channel and you know, I, I definitely understand it. You know, sometimes you speak to people that are outside of Africa and they really think that, you know, if they get into uh, the central business district they're going to you know see people on horses and <laughs> and you yeah. know cows going about their day yeah, and all yeah. of that <laughs> yeah so it's really amazing to have you you know do this and spread the word and really um educate people on what exactly zimbabwe has zimbabwe. to offer yes yes i'm very very proud of zimbabwe and you know i, I think i had talked it a lot and my friend ended up saying I would like to go to Zimbabwe. So, you know, it was amazing for her to say that in the beginning I was thinking, I don't know if she's really serious, but she was. And, you know, we came together and um, she could see the real Zimbabwe, but not also just the city, because you can see a city. We can see enough city in America, but, you know, coming to Zimbabwe, to the people in the country, you know, that show cast real Zimbabwe and the culture, you know, so. <laughs> so, and, and I'm, I'm taking it, your friend, just from hearing you, that was your friend alone, decided, I really need to see yes. Zimbabwe. Yes. So think about, <laughs> I can only imagine the impact that you're having on YouTube and with your books as well. I want to think when people start really diving in to see what it is and what I write about, Definitely, there's a lot to offer and a lot for people to learn from. Uh, being inspired, also following up with your dreams and what you can do when you stay on the course of believing it can happen. And I think that's what I write a lot about when I talk about inspirational. My memoir that I talk about my growing up in Zimbabwe, in the country, and 
you know, just living life just like anyone else in the country, but following up with the dream and not sidetrack, you know, things like that, or thinking that my life today is my life tomorrow. I believe that your life today is not your life tomorrow because tomorrow is a different day and today is a different day. So things change and life can they change. They do, and it yeah. can, it can. Yeah. Maybe if, if you are speaking to, to someone who's just heard about you for the first time today, mm -hmm. you've mentioned that you've got six books that are out, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you were to recommend just one book that you say this, I would, in my opinion, just to be biased a bit, the one you'd say would be your best. I would say my memoir. Right. Yes. Reason for living. Yes. My memoir, because my memoir um, showcased the whole thing. And as I was writing my memoir, I realized something that I didn't know. I, I followed, I believed my thoughts. I believed what was coming into my mind or what I, I thought could happen. I believed it and I, I kept it in my spirit. I kept it in my mind. And because of that, things sort of like uh, just unfold. So it's not like what people maybe might think like it's lucky or it's uh, maybe you were just fortunate or it's not exactly like that in my opinion. I think it's something that is very orchestrated by you as a person and you, you walk with that understanding that if I get an inspiration to do something and I believe in it. That's the first thing I think. And then you do the steps that lead you to that. I think you can accomplish the goals and dreams and hopes and you can do anything. Definitely. <laughs> and <laughs> yes. I think there's something about creatives like yourselves. Yeah. Just having a short conversation with you, you instantly get inspired. Yes. And the next thing on my mind is, I need to look for the memoir, A Reason yes. for Living. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, thank no, you. Man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Elise. I don't know, do you have any parting shots uh, for everyone? Um, I would like to recommend people really looking into uh, reading some of my work. Um, you know, uh, Reasons for Living is really one that I believe I don't think it's, it has anything to do with who you are. It's just anybody can benefit because I have, I would say my life in general just went and I, you know, piece after piece after piece. And I think everyone has that life. The only difference that I call is that some we share, some we don't. So that's the difference. So I, 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 I recommend that people can look you know, and you can find the books on Amazon. If you just Google the name, if you go to books, and then you Google the names of the books or the my name, you can find the books. All right, I'll yeah. definitely be doing that straight <laughs> after. <laughs> well, yeah, thank, you. thank you so much, Elise, for coming to the studio. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me here. That's all we had for you on the profile today. We had the lovely author with us in studio, Elise Kunangura McKnight. She's a very inspirational woman who's had six books written. And I must say, straight after this, I will be looking for a memoir, Reasons for Living. And I would love to say, for all diasporans out there, 3K TV is the best place to be for all your interviews. The best of Zimbabwe. Stay tuned. <music>I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and also put your comments. And again, the link of the book is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.